Okay, here's a tip I got for you if you're doing a Super Duty, um, you know, floor cross member replacement. Get yourself some undercoating, rust proofing, preferably oil based. Don't use rubberized, anyways. Uh, pre like spray the inside of these because you really can't get to them afterwards unless you have a whole wand and thing. I don't, so pre spray them. And obviously, you got to be mindful of this flange because you got to keep it clean. That way, when you weld, you don't get contamination. So, you know, there is like a happy medium of how you do it. So, other than that, whenever you're all done, I know for me, I can still get my undercoating gun nozzle in here and shoot it to hit underneath that flange and between the floor. So, the key is to do the inside of this channel, like what rests on the frame, because that's where the water is going to sit. So, all right, quick video here. I'm muffled because I got my respirator on, but that's all right. So I just want to demonstrate real quick how I pass the bed floor in these, especially when it's on a mounting bolt hole. So the only thing I can really tell you is uh, I prefer to do, you know, squared edges. It just looks like a better patch in general, so that's my preference, and I think it's easier. And then if you have a square like this, that's very helpful because in this case, I just kind of put it on this edge. Get my hole roughly lined up. You can see I already kind of like traced it. And then I make some reference marks on the outside here as well. And uh, I already took a measurement with my tape measure from this flange at this point here all the way out. And I know that this hole will land at seven inches, you know, on center. So I just do stuff like that. That way when I get this patch in here, I can you know redo this whole setup here. And I can pretty much mark my whole drill, it'll be fine. And if like you're nervous about it, this hole in particular, you can go a little bit bigger, not much, but you can go just a little bit bigger to give you more wiggle room. But uh yeah, other than that, that's it. Okay, so I take the old piece that I just laid on here, make sure, uh, in this case I got the actual patch panels for these floors, make sure all your ribs match up best you can, and then I like to uh, go at least half an inch all the way around, and uh, yeah, so in this area here where the bolt hole is, I will have to flatten this area out so it'll be the way it was. At least that's what I do. You don't have to, but otherwise, when you go put the bed bolt in on the outside, it'll like squish down, and you have this weird little. It doesn't look right. So again, and you can see an example here. This is like the old patch. Eh, maybe not quite half inch, but I'll definitely you know you want to leave yourself some extra, unless you want to actually fit these in and butt weld these in 100%. That's up to you, but. This is how I do it, so, and I got these laid out, so this side here with the hole is actually facing, you know, the correct side right now, that's toward me, so that's why I wrote me, me, <laughs> that way when I cut this out, I know that's which way it goes, and I just lay it in there, and I could start my fitment, and continue on. Alright, so I got this first piece fit, this one's just going to sit there. I still have to flatten out this area though, but uh, this one I just got doing, there's no real good technique I do, I just, honestly, it's uh, right now it's just my engine lift, I just flat piece of, you know, metal there, and just kind of get it on there and tap away with a hammer, flatten out all this, because this whole section, you can see where I marked it, that's where it's got to be flat to match the factory piece, so I got done doing that. Not a bad gap for it just kind of sitting there. And, uh, like, again, yeah, see, it'll it'll sink down some. And you might have to fight with it a little bit, you know, pushing on it. Usually I just use a pry bar or something long, and I kind of push on it. And then I have to put my weld in, my tack weld. And then just work it away, you know, the way around there. And that'll be it. So I'm at that point now, so. Okay, back on this. So, yeah, I'm gonna step on the bed, it's fine. <clears throat> Got my holes drilled here, and they pretty much fell right into place. 
So I like to, uh, even though I did all this, I still always like to jet, um, just check the other side. So I took a reference, you know, measure from this edge to here and make sure it pretty much matches that. They might not be perfect. They might be off like an eighth an inch, but that's all you need really. So I got those all done. So I'm going to get these all sealed up. And then once I get those sealed up, I'm going to lay these over top and then I can start to plug weld these into the bed. And then same with that piece here. And then we're done. All right, just finish this one up. So you got two big patches there where those bolt holes were, nice and sealed now. I'll finish sealing it once I get it flipped. But this is what it looks like after I get done vacuuming it and I kind of give it a wipe down real quick. And that's just, uh, you know, so I can paint these bare areas. And then after that, it's going to be time for some rust proof. So, yipper.